one to show you. This is one I put together uh, yesterday. Um, came across a uh, couple movements came back to me. So I tore one down and did a sandwich dial build. So this is a box ox sandwich dial. It's the orange sunburst. Um, so normally it's kind of running at any given time you see it, it's reflecting on the other side. See that direction. So, or that direction. So super cool looking dial, very thick. Uh, so I put that in an O90 case. Um, we've, uh, Done a silver handset on there, and then I did a custom painted second sand with a nice brighter orange, just for a little bit more of a pop. As if this isn't giving it a pop already. Uh, we've got the Boktok engraved uh, crown, the little B logo. Um, like a knurled bezel style on here with an orange diver insert, and then this has a hefty uh, AR coded exhibition case back. Um, you can kind of see the blue tint right there, but that is a thick boy. So uh, pretty kick ass. So, uh, but it's gonna go right, right there along with your, uh, right there on the wrist, but uh, very thick AR coded exhibition case back. I do not do those very often. Um, Boxock engraved clasp, um, engineered band on here. And that's the build. That's the build as a whole. <clears throat> as always, these builds are, uh, have a bezel with a tension ring. And I just put it on there super tight. So, a lot of times I'll wrap those with a little bit of, uh, uh, man, dental floss. I was like... Why can't I think of what it's called? I wrap them with dental floss before I snap them on, so it puts a little bit more tension on them. So they'll go left, they'll go right, they do not click. Um, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a winder. But if it is dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you pre-wind it. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it clicking, and you feel and see a little bit of play. At that point, you can wind. And a wind is a turn away from you, that direction. Winding backwards does nothing, but... Uh, it's a lot easier to wind it back and forth, like so. So if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you will keep time throughout the day. A lot of times I do a roll with my thumb, because it keeps that spacing. Uh, if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time. If you do it for something closer to 15, 20 seconds, you'll max out your 31 plus hour power reserve on there. Um... You can't overwind it uh, if you pull it to the one and only click. Have I done that? Yeah, I did. If you pull it to the one and only click, you can now set your time. It's not a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going on you. And you've got a uh, wobble crown. So it's going to deflect lateral pressure from going uh, into the stem, into the movement. So um, what I also did to help with that, instead of pushing and prying on it to where it's flexing, I just kind of pull back and put some tension on it that way. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 3 or 2 p.m. 3 or 2 p.m.? And if you just push it right back over, we'll thread right down. So that is that build. As always, the builds come with some matching beads. Whether you wear them, it's entirely up to you. This one's going to come in one of my vintage slider orange box hot boxes. It's going to come with some watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts of this whole watch. Non-toxic, non-residue, non-streaking, and some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon Repackage. It's basically like poly watch because this is an acrylic glass and you can scratch it. If you do, put a little bit on there. Buff against that scratch, filling that scratch up. Generate some heat with your included microfiber. And um, you should knock it out in 15, 20 seconds. Just buff against it. And uh, only use what you need because you're just filling the scratch. Anything extra is going to soak into your rag. It's going to get pushed under the bezel uh, if you're going over that far. So just put a tiny bit on there, buff against it, and fill it up. And uh, uh, that's it. And it will be back to pretty. You have enough in there to last you your entire watch, I promise. There's plenty in there. And uh, that's it. 
So uh, we will see you a little bit later today who ends up getting this watch. If you get the watch, congrats, and thank you for the support. I appreciate you a ton. You will love the watch. It looks awesome in person. And uh, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And uh, if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.